I don't exactly know why I'm doing it, but here I am. I actually do know why I'm doing this, but I don't know how effective it will be, and I don't know what will happen to this footage, but we're trying something. Basically, these past, basically since the beginning of August, I have been in a reading slump, and I hate it here, so help me out, please. So I just haven't really felt motivated to read, and haven't been reading that often, and that's been bothering me a lot because I really like reading and I really want to be reading, but it just hasn't been happening. I've just been spending my days just scrolling through YouTube instead, and it's getting a bit boring. Because <laughs> I'm also just like not watching content by creators I enjoy watching. I'm just watching like random videos, and it just it's, it's a little bit bothersome to me because it isn't the best behavior. So here we are, and. I'm doing a reading vlog because I am thinking that will hold me accountable to actually read. Because there's a lot of physical books on my TV that I really really want to read. All three books that I still have to read from my library I still really want to read. I have some galleys I need to read this month and I just helped me through the month and I've only read three books. Which is off for me. So And then one I had already started in July and I just finished this month so I, that doesn't really count that much. So yeah, here we are. Two books for you. First, being like I'm going to the ashes by Sabatino, but this is a reread. I haven't been doing rereads lately, it's to read like 100 pages for every book that I finish. So I need to read 200 books because I read two complete books this month. So 200 pages. I did already started some 26 pages in, and I've already loved the two. Sh I didn't even think it was a complete two chapters, did I? Oh, wait, it was. Okay, the two chapters and one page that I read, I still really enjoyed them. And I think it is. I really, this is one of my favorite fantasy series. And I just wanted to reread it before reading the third book. And then I've been pushing it off so much that the fourth book is coming out soon. <laughs> so here we are. This is one, two, three, four, five sections. So I've been read two. I'll already be like a big chunk in. That's great. And then I also have Crazy Rich Agents by Kevin Kwan. Basically, what I've been doing because my reading mood has been very weird. I have just been like picking up like five options out of my TBR and then like picking one of those five and Crazy Rich Agents popped up for that. I haven't started this yet, but I have made a family tree already. Basically I don't do this often, but when there's like a big cast of characters, I will do like a character chart of some sort. And this has a family tree at the beginning, so I decided to like copy that in a certain way that makes it very clear to me like who's connected to who and i don't know i think i'm gonna read like 100 pages of it i'm gonna yeah, just start this and then read the other 100 pages and yeah i'll update you later when i've read something it's also storming outside which it's not great reading right now because it's still pretty hot We've just we're coming out of a heat wave basically so it's still pretty hot. I'm gonna shut up because I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. Bye! <laughs>
because I'm stupid. And then this is today. And this is what we have to do today. If you want to know, I am so pressed about reading this month. This is what my reading track looks like. I have barely read anything this month. Like in comparison, last month. Let me get you that. Really this was last month. This is this month. <laughs> Let's give you a proper update. It's Saturday, the 22nd. I'm sorry. I don't mean to ghost you, but as you noticed, I also didn't read this past week. So I really dedicated this weekend to reading, and then yesterday I still didn't read that much because I got distracted a lot. But I did my video work for today, so I'm gonna focus on reading. Uh, I don't know why it's not working because I'm really enjoying every book I'm reading and I'm reading three books but <laughs> I just I don't feel inclined to pick them up and when I'm reading I'm like I want to do something else but I'm enjoying what I'm reading it's strange I haven't felt like this before so let's just quickly go over what I'm currently in the middle of first of all and I'm going to the best about it here I have 114 pages in and um, after I film this update, I'm gonna put on this ASMR room and go to the 200 mark. So I'm done for this, <laughs> what I wanted to do for in the vlog, which is great. I am really, really enjoying this. I probably should give you a synopsis of this book. This book is uh, follows two perspectives. It follows, but it takes place in like this world, which is, I believe, based off of the Roman Empire, but also has like Middle Eastern elements to it, which come up prominent in the second book, but it's also very much part of this as well. Editing me here because I screwed up the synopsis for this book though. You deserve better. This book follows two characters. One is Leia and one is Elias. So at the beginning of the novel Leia's house gets raided by the masks who are like basically like these super soldiers who are like wearing masks um, because her brother is like accused of spying on them and she manages to get away but her parents, her grandparents are killed and her brother is taken captive so she goes to the rebels to be like hey it's your fault my brother is in jail now so you're gonna save him and they're like fine but you're gonna spy at the school for the masks for us because we need information and she's like okay so she goes into the school as like a slave to get information that the rebellion needs and then we also follow Elias who is a mask at the, in training at the school and he's about to graduate and he is planning to run away at his graduation because he doesn't want to be a mask. But then at his graduation, these trials are announced that will choose, I guess, will determine the next emperor for their country. And Elias is selected for those trials. And yeah, a lot of shit happens. And yeah. It's so far, I'm really enjoying it. There is. In the second book, there was like a huge plot twist that completely threw me off the first time I read it. And now that I'm rereading this, like, it's not like there's like a lot of foreshadowing to it, but I'm picking up on some clues that I'm just like, how did I not see that the first time around? Then I'm also reading Crazy Rich Agents, which I am 147 pages in. I just finished the first part. It just follows like a very witch family in Singapore and. It mainly kind of just kicks off with like one of the sons in this family having like lived all his life in like England and America mostly for like his studies and stuff like that so he lives now in America and there he meets a girl called Rachel who is from like a normal family and in the beginning of the novel they have to go to Singapore for like a wedding and this is the first time this guy brings his girlfriend over to the family and chaos ensues because the girlfriend doesn't know that his family is witch. That's where we're at. We're kind of at the point like right before she's gonna meet his family. So yeah. And then I'm also reading The Year Shakespeare Wound My Life, which I don't know the author of at the top of my head. This is right here. And it's a guy from Nagel, it's coming out in September. I started reading it because I realized I have a little bit over a week left of the month and I still have four galleys to read this month. So yeah. This is... Um, 25% through this and it's about a girl who is like obsessed with being valedictorian and she's very much in the race for it but to kind of get more recognition she starts working on the school play which as a co-stage manager officially but 
then the actual teacher that was supposed to do that just drops out completely and she has to do everything on her own and she has a question on a girl who ends up being in a play as well and it's a Shakespeare play which is why it's called to year Shakespeare with my life and yeah I'm really enjoying it I didn't want to put it down to 25% mark but I'm juggling three books <laughs> I have to section things off otherwise it's not working but I'm really enjoying it so far so yeah that's my update I'm gonna read an ember in the ashes now and I'll see you later bye <laughs>
almost 200 pages into this book and not a lot has happened yet. And I have not many ashes as we read and I'm loving every single bit of it. I think I updated you once. No, I didn't. Did I? I don't remember. But I'm really enjoying this. I feel like I'm still like at a point where so much is left to happen that I know it's gonna happen. I'm so excited for it and like brickstone like pieces are being left and I'm just I'm really exciting excited to be rereading this book as well. So yeah. I think this is where I'm gonna leave you for this vlog because I also already started it on a Sunday so I don't feel the need to continue it on until tomorrow. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed this. I think I am going to try and weekly vlog for a while. We are starting on the 21st of September so I can tell you if not beyond that I will still have the time or motivation to daily vlog but in to weekly vlog I mean daily vlog will never happen <laughs> but until then I'm gonna try and do this weekly vlog thing so I hope you enjoy and yeah I guess I'll see you guys next week Here I am again, the same